Welcome back. July 20th provide perfect weather for a favorite outdoor gathering in Colton. For the past four decades, the town's one-time mayor has been hosting a tea party for a group of special guests. Kelland's Bridget Bennett tells us why it's been a beloved tradition for generations to enjoy. How are you? Oh, I'm good. How about you? Diane Hoven has near celebrity status with the kids of Colton. They all know where she lives. You can spot her house. Well, they wouldn't be a tea party if they didn't. That's because she's been inviting all the children in town to a special event every summer. And all I do is put a note out around the Colton and they all show up. <laughs> Word of mouth travels fast in a small town. Everybody sees it. Everybody knows about it. With balloons, bubbles, and biscuits. Pass them around. Pass them around here. Back to the floor. <laughs> it's a special occasion that has many kids decked out in their finest dresses and hats. Because we come here to have a tea party. Over the past four decades of hosting, Diane has assembled quite the collection of teacups. Oh, they're just so cute. I don't know how many she has, but there's a lot. Is anyone actually drinking tea here? No. <laughs> Chocolate milk? Yes. While there's no actual tea at the tea party, these tiny guests get plenty of refills in their dainty cups. They're like this small. But it's those little details that make Diane's tea party memorable for so many. I don't think it's changed a bit. We've always had the snacks uh, early in the morning, always the chocolate milk, always coffee and water. Brooke Edmondson is one of many Colton natives who've enjoyed coming to these tea parties all their lives. There's a lot of kids that were little when they came, and now they're here with their children. A timeless tradition that's become even more cherished with each year the generous tea party host continues to celebrate. And every year I think, oh, I'm 92, so you know, I think, oh, Maybe I'll skip it this year, but I get a lot of help. Everybody pitches in. A true testament of a tight-knit community and the nostalgia felt when inviting the next generation to tea. It's the first time that I'll be able to bring her, and if this is the last, I wanted to make sure to be able to have that memory for me. <laughs> you know, she's two, so I don't know if she'll remember it, but I will. Oh, I just enjoy doing it, and the kids always have fun. We have fun. That was Bridget Bennett reporting. For the past few years, many of Diane's family members have helped host the tea parties each summer. This year, she had four generations helping out, including her daughter, granddaughter, and great-grandsons. From tea to a summertime staple, young Wyatt Dennis runs a free lemonade stand during the Sturgis Rally in hopes of raising money for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Each year, the Dennis family adds to the project, and this year, they added a two-day poker run in the Black Hills. We try to keep it new, simple, easy, and fun. So instead of going from like places that normal poker runs would be, um, we're gonna have it to go to places that I like. Through a mixture of fundraising and corporate sponsorship, Wyatt has raised more than 21,000 for St. Jude's just this year. In the heat of summer, people in Watertown are grateful for an outdoor oasis along the city's bike and walking trail. Our Bridget Bennett finds out how the Watertown water cooler got its start and just how many people are helping to pay it forward. When I first saw it, I thought, is this for real? It's not too often you see a sign for something free right where you need it most. I can't believe this is really what it is. And it's ice cold and it's always ice cold. But over the past four summers, people in Watertown have come to rely on a cooler of free water along this quiet stretch of the bike trail. On June 12th of this year, we put the 100 case of water. The water cooler is a passion project for Earl Baumgarn after experiencing his own serious case of dehydration. I ended up spending the night at the hospital getting fluids. Well, the next day, people are going by and nobody's getting water with them. So the cooler was born. This trail goes on for miles. It's why Earl wants to make sure that everyone biking or walking along the trail stays safe, especially during the summer heat. I think it's nice and I like how he can help people where like people, if they're like working super hard, like on their bike, they can just stop and get a cool drink. Earl's cooler is also stocked with juice boxes for the kids, thanks to the community's help. It's all donated, all, all of it, even the ice. 
people have left money in the cooler, on top of the cooler. County Fair showed up with 12 cases of water somebody had bought and had it delivered. While it's become a community project, he's the cooler man. It's made all the more special by the man keeping the free pit stop well stocked all summer long. This is your retirement job, huh? <laughs> That in the neighborhood watch. <laughs> Most days you'll find Earl outside watching the cooler and yep. keeping track of how many people stop by. You know, people come across the road and visit or, or they come by and they wave. The 73-year-old retiree providing much more than just an ice-cold drink to the people who cross his path. And the best part is when you get the water, the gentleman is always sitting there and he always waves and it just makes my day. I was Bridget Bennett reporting. Over the past four summers, Baumgarn has stocked the cooler with more than 123 cases of bottled water and 100 juice boxes, something he plans to continue every summer as long as his health holds up. From the heat of the summer to the cool of the autumn season, Kelly and Kelly Volk shows us the joys of pumpkin season. It's an autumn adventure, heading into the pumpkin patch to find the perfect one to pick. Sometimes the big ones stand out. I can carry it for you. It's heavy, of course. Or perhaps you're on the hunt for something different than classic orange. You want a white one, a big white one? Some pumpkin pickers are looking for a craft project. I actually look for a good painting surface because we end up painting different things on our pumpkins. No matter what kind of fall decoration you fancy. We have some warty pumpkins. They're called warty goblins and people just love them. There are plenty of choices at Cherry Rock Farms near Brandon. Owner Marco Patzer says despite some hot and dry conditions during the growing season, the harvest will be a good one. And we had a really good crop this year. There's lots of lots of nice pumpkins this year. So. I carried this all by myself. Holy moly. You'll find more than pumpkins at the farm. There's also some fall fun in store. Take a picture of this weekend we'll have um, hay rides, free hay rides, free corn maze. We'll have our goats out here. People love to see our goats. With fall just getting started, this is just one of many trips. Some pumpkin lovers are sure to be back. <laughs> 